Today's lesson is lift. We learn about the lift motion. Today we learn about the lift motion. Lift is actually based on lift. Lift is based on the two principles. First of all, it is the based on the second law of motion. Second laws of motion. That is Newton's second law of motion. And it maintains an accelerated pattern spin. That's why it is a non-inertial reference frame concept. Non-inertial reference frame means if a reference frame is moves with an acceleration or in a rotating frame, that reference frame is called the non-inertial reference frame. If we today we study about the lift, that's why because if we learn and uh, learn the lift case very easily or very conceptually, then we solve easily in the fully problems. That fully problems, if we solve better, then our chances in the competitive exam will be more and more because must question, question must be selected from the Newton's laws of motion. First step of the Newton's laws of motion problem solving methods is one that is lift motion if we study now we study lift lift that is case one case one is when lift moves with an acceleration a in upward direction lift moves with acceleration A in the upward direction. When now you sitting on the lift, now you sitting on the lift, then lift is if the lift is moved upward direction with an acceleration A. Then it is surely you feel your apparent will weight will be decreases. But why? But why your weight will be decreases? At this start. When? <coughs> when? Your acceleration is upward direction. Then, when acceleration is upward direction, this represents normal reaction. Normal reaction. This reaction is normal reaction. It is R also denoted as N. And this is the weight. of the person with a view. When we study about the lift is in upward direction, then R always greater than mg. R always greater than mg because if we go upward direction, this force must be greater than from this force. That's why if we um, calculate the motion of the Calculate the equation of motion, then it is must show that R is capital force R minus mg. This force is the resultant force. Result. Resultant force, it is equal to the weight of the, it is equal to the second law of motion, that is m. That means R plus 2 m of a plus g. From this we conclude that r that is increases by ma amount from the mg. It is increases amount of ma. ma amount increases from the previous. That's why your weight will be increases by an amount m. Now we study the second case. Case 2. 
if lift moves downward direction with an acceleration a now you are sitting in a lift that's why when lift is motion in downward direction mean that means its mg will be greater mg will be the greater force in the earth because it moves downward direction moves downward direction that's why mg is the greater force that means mg minus r equals to j resultant force resultant force that equals to newton second law of motion that is j m the newton second law of motion that for r equals to m into m minus g negative from this we conclude that if a greater than g if a greater than g then r equals to m a minus g that is r gives negative value that means your head that means your head touching the sling of the lift touching the sling of the lift your head this condition is called super weightlessness condition this condition is called super weightlessness condition this condition is called super weightlessness condition now We part if a less than g, then r equals to mg minus m. That is, r decreases. You feel your weight decreases by an amount m. That means your apparent weight, apparent weight, will be less the actual weight. In this case, third case, C condition E P equals to T. That is R equals to M G minus M G. That is zero. Normal reaction. Is zero. Means you feel weightlessness. You feel weightlessness condition. That means you free fall. You fall free, and you have no weight at that condition. Now the case three. Now we study the case three. Case three means when we move upward direction or downward direction. When we move upward direction or downward direction with a constant velocity. Constant velocity. Then R minus m g sum on zero. Since a equals to zero, since a equals to zero, that is R minus m g equals to zero. When upward direction with a constant velocity moves, upward direction with a constant velocity R equals to m g. M g minus R sum on zero when downward direction with a v. The constant velocity in downward direction that is mg minus r equals to zero. That is r sum on mg. In both cases, the you feel your weight is similar to the actual weight. This is the lift motion. If you study better lift motion, then you will do some problems on this basis. First, one thing understand in this lift that is basic things is. R is the upward force, mg is the downward force. When you go upward direction, when you go upward direction, then R minus mg 
equals to in a when you go upward direction that is upward direction similar case when you go downward direction that is mg minus r equals to m when you go downward direction that is downward force mg is theta it is the basic concept if you apply in this bully problem case if you learn bully problem very easily the next class will be on bully problems